Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome to 47 Heroines. Uh, I just found this game on the Q app, and we're going to be trying it out. It seems like a Japanese sort of like strategy RPG from what I see for the screenshots. It's also made by a few people who have made quite a few global games. So we could get this game, it's a possibility, but we're going to be doing another different language type of game. It's been a while, to be honest. Okay, just making sure there's no like other settings for like English. I mean, so far it seems like a few things are translated in English, so. Yeah, it's also a Japanese game, so. All right, so we need an account. Okay, uh, hold on, give me a second. All right, that didn't really take too long for me since I have pretty decent internet. But it doesn't like the game can handle well, the emulator can handle, like, videos, though. <laughs> Alright, so something about HP. That, that's all I know. HP and debugger. <laughs> but, like always, we normally play different language games to try to figure them out as we go. I pretty much show off gameplay. And it'll just pretty much show you guys if you're going to be interested if it ever does get a global version. That's pretty much how, how my different language series goes. Alright, so I gotta pick a name. Let's go with Wolf. So I get to pick my, uh, my robot to help me out. I, I like this one, to be honest. Huh, so what did all their voices sound like? That voice I did not think would fit with that. Yeah, I like this one better. <laughs> and plus he's green too. That's even better. So these are all our heroines. Oh, so they're all for different factions throughout Japan. Huh. Let's see. Which ones have my most favorite looking ones? Um. Uh, I mean, I like her look. I like her a little bit too. I also like her. But not my favorite faction. Let's see. I mean, I like swimsuits. Oh, and I like the brawler. Um, I might go with her. She looked like she can give people the hands. <laughs> Hold on. So she'll be on my list to look at. I mean, this faction has some pretty interesting designs, too. It's actually interesting that they give you a whole bunch of starters, I think. They, at least I think these are starters. I like her. I like her too. Hmm. I definitely like her. God damn it, so many hard choices. You know what? I already found my favorite. Oh my god. Damn it. I was gonna say I found my favorite until I saw her. Screw it. We're going with her. Yep, I found my favorite. <laughs> Just can't help myself, dude. So is this pretty much our instructor? Oh god, that thing looks creepy. Total nightmare fuel. Is this brain in his chest? Oh, 
Ah, so we can actually get to use the character. Okay, interesting. So all those characters are pretty much our starter characters. Interesting. I like it. At least they give us a few things that are in English, like our menus, our auto button. I can't read any of that, so we're just gonna skip it. <laughs> All right, so wait, I turn off. I'm gonna go right here. So this is our normal attack. So our normal attack will kill him. Dude, I like the design of it so far. If this does go get like a global version, I would definitely play the hell out of it. Ow. Ah, oh, seems like we collected a little bit of data, so I'm guessing that thing's gonna end up being our ally. Interesting. Ah, I was right. So it's gonna end up being your ally. Ooh, we have a, quite a bit of weapons here too. So I wonder, can you change like their outfits and stuff too? Because I'm not a really huge fan of the, like the cyber suit going on. I wonder in their like little student council kind of outfit. Yeah, this outfit. Alright, so this is formation. Okay. Thank God they labeled some of the stuff, though. <laughs> Gives me a little bit of a standing of what's going to be going on. So monsters are going to be fighting with me as well. The monster I at least acquire by DNA. Sorry if you guys hear all my clicking. <laughs> I'm literally trying to go through all this stuff as fast as I can. So it doesn't look like there is a um, cost for like um, formations. You know how the normal costing where you would have like, where a character would like, hmm. Let's say a formation would cost like uh, 41, but you would have like a S or let's say you would have a five star that costs like 50. Which normally ends up being 50 in like most other games. So you can't put her inside the formation. Stuff like that. Pretty much like uh, Brave Frontier. Let's say that. Because Brave Frontier has a cost system for like their parties. Are we going to be enhancing? Empty. Oh no, weapons. So this is equipping. So what's this? Oh, these are helpers. All right, let's go. Oh, look at this guy. He looks even creepier than the uh, first guy. I mean, so far, first impression wise, pretty, pretty neat. Want to know the rest of the elements of the game now? Is there like back attack, more damage hitting enemies from the back? So we got skills. So we can actually see what they do. So this is the character, this is the range, this is the enemy or how much it hits. So if I was to 
Okay, so this is pretty much how up close I have to be. So if I'm sitting right here, he would have to be in front of me, beside me, or behind me. And this is the area of the damage. So AoE is going to be like a diamond shape. I'm pretty sure you guys have played um, Alchemist Code before. Damn, all that damage. Oh, so they have team combos too. Okay, that's good. Team combos are definitely useful in like strategy games. So I have art skills. Which is pretty much like an ultimate. Neat. Pretty neat. Cancel. That was just like the adding system if you wanted to add somebody. So we're going to do like the summoning system. I think you can only summon monsters from the character you pick. Or maybe you have a chance of summoning the other females too? Not sure. Really? More downloading? Thought I fixed... Thought I finished it all, but alright. Uh, be right back. Alright, we just finished downloading. Took quite a while for it to finish. Just a tad. Ah, here comes the gotcha system. Okay, so you can get other female characters then. Ooh, a free 10 summon. Ooh, you got a shiny orange one. Wait a minute, is this? Nah, I'm thinking of something else. I thought it said 10 something. Never mind then. Ended up being a weapon. Can I change my character's weapons and how they perform? That actually be pretty damn cool. Oh, they just let go of our hand. Oh damn, these rewards actually look pretty decent. Cool, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all my rewards inside of here. Looks like we have enough to do with like a summon. AP does stack. Alright, you already know where we're going back to. <laughs> Wow. 
All right, let's go for it. I thought it was going to cost a lot more than that, but it actually didn't. Oh, we got a red going on here. Oh, we got a rainbow. So, five star? Oh, look at this guy. He looks so weird. So, you can also get uh, weapons out of this. That weapon actually looks pretty cool. Ah, I hate claw weapons. Ooh, got pistols. Got a sword. Got an actual human character of the monster. Ah, yeah, she was one of the people on the banner, right? Uh, where is our five star? Ah, we got a five star weapon. Hammer. None of these characters use hammers, though, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, she is one of the banner units, but we got the three star version. Next summon. I think this is our last summon we can do. We got another red. So, yep, another five star. Oh god, don't you look weird. Four star? Pick up, stop it. Five star character. Please say your hammer. Nah, your spear, I think. Oh, we got a spear for you then. Still no hammer characters. Our five star hammer is just gonna feel lonely all by itself. Oh no, we have enough for one more. I thought that was pretty much it. So is every summon just a uh, guaranteed five star? Okay, no. That proved our uh, theory. <laughs> Alright, so it presents everything that's new. Which is pretty damn good. Nice, a better spear. So I just got lucky, basically. So what's this? Is this our inbox? I mean, that's at least what I'm guessing. I was about to say, please don't freeze. These are new characters, right? Oh no. Pretty much a remote rewards. Alright, so we got our information, we got our equipment. Is there... Oh, we do have a hammer character, apparently. And she can use the weapon. Okay, so there's no restrictions like other games would do. Like, A, your character can't use this unless she's like a certain level or something. Those were always annoying type of games. I definitely like this game so far. Like the designs and everything look pretty interesting. All right, so we have another four-star character. You use these weapons. Kind of like her a little bit. Dude, I don't even think we got a new weapon for you yet. Yeah. Let's say less any of these are better. 
seems like these this one gives a little bit of better stats. Alright, so it doesn't like destroy your weapon if you want to like replace it. Good to know. So what's this? Uh, this is our inbox of everything we've collected. This is our missions. This seems like our inbox so where we look at everything we've gotten. I think this is where we're selling things actually. Hold on, let's let's look around before we could do something like that. Okay, so these are friend invites and stuff. These are our logins. Ah, here's our tickets. So now we can use these. Okay, it's a good thing I did not do that because those were selling. Of course, our character. And she is a brawler. Alright. That, that would have been hilarious. Me just selling all those poor tickets. <laughs> Alright, so I got a monster out of that. So the so those purple cards are just uh monster cards actually. Noted. It's kinda of really slow pace of opening these things also. That should be worked on. Uh it seems like we got a five star ticket here. So a free five star. Oh, it's a gun. I think we do have a four star um, gun using character. Alright, so it has a weapon symbol on it to just tell you which one it is. Trying to hurry up and get through these so we can do a little bit more experimenting before I decide to end off the video. I got to delete a little bit of empty spaces anyway from all the downloading that we've been through. There was quite a bit of downloading too to go through. Oh my. So we checked through most of the menu stuff, so that pretty much is translated for you guys. Well, not translated, translated, but pretty much you know what it is. So be wary of this one where you're going in here because this is a seller if you want to like sell things. Ah, uh, what's this? All right, so this is just like purchasing stuff from what I see. If this ends up being something else to purchase, then I pretty much tells you everything up there. It's just purchase things. This is the gotcha menu. Okay, now. I don't know what the hell this is actually. Oh, is this just my IT information? Yeah, it's my information. Okay. This I think is my formation. Gives me stats for my characters. Yep. Okay, I was right. Alright, we're gonna empty that. 
put in my character, then we're going to put in you to that slot, then we're going to put in you. Do we have a four-star gunner? Okay, no, we don't have a four-star gunner. I'm going to put you up there, though. Oh, I thought we were gonna. It actually saved it by default. Okay, never mind then. Alright, note to self push to green when you're done. Alright, now we're locked in there. So now it just highlights everybody who's in my party. Good. Okay, so it seems like there's different type of gunners. Because this one does not have my 5 star gun I just got. Uh, let me see the symbols. Okay, yeah, I can see. I see. So this is our sniper. The one we just got is a gunslinger. Noted. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell them apart a little bit, but you gotta look at you gotta look at it pretty closely. Let's give you your weapons. I hate claw weapons, but still, I gotta use them. Alright, so that's pretty much the basics of the main menu. Now, let's go in and do some more missions. So these are our rewards. Hopefully that's the skip button. A lot of loading screens, to be honest. Not a huge fan of constantly getting loading screens. We'll do two more matches, then we're just gonna end off from there. I do apologize that you decided to do that as soon as I started recording. Now let's stop right there. Uh oh, wow. She actually has some pretty decent range on her. For like experiments. <laughs> Just jab him. Alright. So we can only attack this far. Do we have any skills that hit further? Oh no. Okay, this must be a, like a buff or something, right? <laughs> ah! So it's basically one of those games where whatever you do gives you XP. So if you use buffs, that gives you XP. If you get. Maybe if you take damage, you get XP too? So it seems like this is buffing the whole party. Okay, so this is a heal. No, we have a healer. Buff the cells. I think that gave her more SP. You you tried. Ow. Okay, that one hurt. 
Oh, look at them. They're all in the line. Do I have anything to take care of that? I hope so. Oh, yeah. I think I do have something to take care of that. Oh, okay, that was just a buff. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I have to be slightly up a bit. That's weird. Okay, hold on. So we got DNA for that. So FP, SP does keep you like at bay quite a bit though. So now she has a speed boost. Okay, so you can't take a paragraph. Okay, I, I just wanted you to stop right there. Alright, any return. How do you get the basics down so far? Look who you can't attack right there. Okay, so we know that's a buff. Okay, so that doesn't kill at all. Jesus Christ. Yeah, let's just do normal attack. Wow, none of these kill. So we do restore SP over time from using basic attacks, from what I see. Because if I'm right, she just gained, she had 45, okay, yeah. She had 45, now she has 60. Okay, nobody told you to go back where you were, to be honest. Go back over here. Thank you. Now that adds on a little bit of damage. So, if I just... Okay, I see. If I change to a different enemy from what I was originally attacking... Or enemy that is out of range... It does that. It snaps her back into place. Alright, enemy turn. And also, everybody has a stronger weapon than she does right now. That guy's gonna go around and get on our other side. Or not. So there's no counter attacking from what I see. Interesting. Kill him. So pretty much whoever gets the kill is the one who gets the XP. Or gets the most XP.
Oh, that's funny. You can still attack after that. Jeez. I actually think this will be our last match because this one actually took lo longer than I thought it would. Okay, so we got a basic understanding of pretty much how everything works just off that. And we got all of our rewards. Nice. Alright, so this is how they're going to be doing the story. Well, at least the characters have, like, um, actual emotions during their, um, during their story. And actually have mouth movement and a whole bunch of animations and effort. Instead of it just being like a normal portrait, just sitting there. So that's something I can definitely give, give the game. It actually put in effort towards like the story animations. Unlike a lot of other games that we've seen. And I actually like that. This game could actually be really popular here in North America, to be honest. You probably take on Alchemist Code? Probably. <laughs> Emphasis on probably. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you. And we're going to end it off there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Try the game yourself if you actually found it interesting. But remember, this game was found on the Q app, which is QOO app. So yeah, until then, peace out. It's gonna get better real soon Don't let anyone tell you what you should do I got a clear view We're gonna make it soon Just keep pushing through You're what you got to lose You're what you got to lose You're what you got to lose Just keep pushing through Cause what you got to lose